Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Mr. Tool Monday where each week I showcase a, a unique and uncommon tool. So last week I gave you the sneak peek of this pocket manometer, the DraftRite brand. And uh, if you stick around to the end, we'll do a quick sneak peek at next week's mystery tool. But first, let's start off with a dad joke. I don't get why Marvel doesn't use the Hulk to advertise more. He's basically just one big banner. All right, let's get into it. We'll get a closer view at the manometer. All right, so as I'm unboxing this, let's first cover what a manometer is. A manometer measures inches of water column. Water column is how we measure pressure in uh, a lot of gas type systems or flu systems, flu meaning you know exhaust gases. Uh, a lot of HVAC guys use this for installing uh, you know, heat, uh, heating systems, HVAC systems, uh, water heaters that use a propane burner or, or natural gas burner. So this is a handy little thing that a HVAC tech could use to measure the exhaust gas, or, well, the draft basically of a flue pipe. Um, I don't think it really goes accurate enough to measure, say, uh, you know, input gas pressures. Um, maybe somebody out there who is a, an actual HVAC guy could uh, chime in. I've used a manometer a couple times, a, a digital one. I've even made my own manometer out of a, a, a literally just a, a piece of clear tubing and uh, put some water in it with inch lines and uh, it, it actually turned out to be really accurate. I was trying to measure uh, gas pressure feeding a, a Generac generator, a propane generator and I needed to dial down the gas pressure going into this uh, generator. So anyway, uh, this is a, a brand called Bacharach, and apparently it's a, a pretty good brand. I've never heard of it myself, but my uncle, he, he knew all about it, at least the, the brand. I guess they use them a lot chipboard. To use this guy, we have this little tube here that just gets screwed into the back, okay? Probably turn it in that way. And this is our measuring tube. This would get stuck into a flue pipe, like a chimney pipe of some sort. And you can do it at different spots. According to the directions I found, we'll look at these here real quick too, but according to the directions I found, you want this typically before any sort of dampener to see what kind of updraft you're getting. And so you would actually get a negative reading. So the scale actually shows negative going to the right, which is where you would normally read. So because the draft is pulling, right? So you would have a negative scale and then positive is to the left which is kind of backwards from what, what most manometers would use and then it's got this little extension tube if you have a, a bigger draft or a, there was i read something about it where you would want this closer to the middle so say you got a bigger flue pipe you know you would want the inlet to be a little bit more central inside the pipe so let's take a quick gander at these instructions here so this one is using a fireplace as its demonstration, uh, but the online instructions that I found also showed using it for like uh, water heaters, uh, like gas, natural gas or propane fired water heaters and uh, HVAC systems, kind of the same thing. All right, so in our instructions here, it says cover zero check hole with finger, level draft right until draft tube is horizontal and pointer is in line with zero scale mark uncover zero check hole without disturbing position pointer instantly shows draft or pressure reading use of draft right is illustrated on front page so that's all they're talking about their use of it so basically you just cover the hole it would be you know like that you guys are looking more down but it, this this would be level you cover it, bring it upright, and then you would uh, read the, um, the scale. And it did zero out looking at it here. And it pretty much levels it, or goes right back to zero on its own. But if I cover the zero, or if I cover the zero hole, flip it over, it basically went right back to zero. I'm gonna try to blow in this a little bit here, see if we can actually get something to happen. So that was air blowing into it. Yep. Now if we pull air away from it. Yep. So that was a draw, a suction. So that's a pretty unique tool. I had never seen one of these uh, little pocket guys. I would imagine that'd be pretty handy for actual HVAC guys or 
you know, fireplace installers, uh, or honestly, just anybody troubleshooting their chimney. Um, I installed my own stove. That's, I actually made a video of that one if you want to check that out. Um, but my chimney is so doggone tall and it's an older house too. So there's a lot of openings for air to get in that I don't really have any issues at all with uh, a draft. Um, the taller your chimney is, generally speaking, the better your draft is going to be because as that column inside the chimney heats up, it pulls up, you know, the, the warm air wants to go up, right? So the more warm air you have in the chimney, the taller the chimney, the more warm air you're going to have, the harder it's going to be pulling upwards, causing a good amount of draft. A lot of people have issues when they uh, start their fireplace where they'll get smoke and such coming back into the house. And that's a reverse draft. And it's really bad, obviously, for, you know, um, you don't want smoke in the house, let alone the, the bad gases, you know, carbon monoxide, that kind of stuff. So I don't know uh, how much any of y'all know about this, but chimneys are really expensive. Like a three foot chunk of stainless steel double wall insulated chimney is more than $100 per foot, all right? So, and that's supposed to be basically from your roof line up has to be that stainless steel double wall stuff. And regulations are a little bit, you can get triple wall, non-insulated stuff like that, but stuff's really expensive. So when people install their chimneys, you know, they don't wanna have to put any more up there than they need. Unfortunately, I had to put more up there because the angle of my roof is so steep that to get to the height above the roof line that I had to be at for code, my, my chimney is like 23 feet tall. So it's recommended that you get at least 15 feet of chimney pipe to get proper draft. So something like this for somebody troubleshooting would be really handy, uh, let alone if you're installing, you know, space heaters, you know, we've got a, a propane heater, a Mr. Mr. Heater or something or other in the garage and uh, you know, setting up your controls for that. Um, now that's a little bit different because it's a forced exhaust, whereas like a, a water heater generally isn't a forced exhaust. However, a lot of them do have that. They have exhaust fans. So anyway, just a really neat, you, you know, different uncommon tool that I'd never seen before. Hopefully uh, y'all got something out of that. And uh, next week's sneak peek is this little dude here. It says, uh, Unison Fremont, Ohio. And that's the only literature on the whole thing. Has this uh, a nice wooden handle here and a spring-loaded doodad on the end. So there's a, a shank inside of this that protrudes out just a little bit. All right. So that'll be next week's mystery tool. If you got any guesses on what that guy is, go ahead and throw it in the comments section. I, again, I had to look this one up, never seen it before. All right, well, that's it for this week. Thanks for checking out the video. I put out one of these Mystery Tool Mondays every week, every Monday. If you got any questions or comments, you know what to do. If you like this stuff, please hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you next week.